everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to film my August TBR, which I'm really, really excited about. If you guys didn't know, August is my birth month, and my birthday is August 28th, and I'm just like, I don't know why it makes me so excited that we're now in August, but it totally does, and I feel like my reading experience needs to be flawless because it's... It's my birthday month, it has to be perfect. And so therefore, I put a lot of thought into the books that I wanted to read this month and uh, I'm super excited to share them with you guys, so let's just get into it. So first, I'm gonna start with the stack that I set aside for Booktubeathon. I read all of these books in August, so I feel like they should be included in the TBR. The first book is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, The Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, er, <laughs> Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, Traffic by Ellen Hopkins, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire, and Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. Uh, I, I'm not really gonna go over these ones that much, obviously, I just sped through that because I talk about them a ton. I, in my Booktubeathon TBR, and uh, I did a daily vlog for that entire week. I did daily vlogs for the entire week of Booktubeathon where I talk about all the books in depth. So if you want to hear more about them, check those things out. I will try and link them down below for you guys. All right, now for the books that I want to get to. <laughs> okay, so the first one is gonna be A Cut of Witch by Nettie Okaruff. Four. This is the first book in a series, I believe, and it is very magical. It's, I, when it was first coming out and everyone was really into it, they were sort of saying like it's like an Africa meets Harry Potter situation because of like their magic system and how it works. And I am personally really liking it. I've already started it. I've already started it on audiobook. And uh, it's also giving me a lot of Children of Blood and Bones vibes. So if you just came off of Children of Blood and Bones and need something that'll kind of hold you over until the next book, I would definitely check out A Caught a Witch. The next book that I have set aside to read for the month of August is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. And it's actually a complete coincidence that this is August, but Queen of Shadows is, I think, like my favorite one of my favorites, definitely, Throne of Glass book. Before I, this reread, I would have said it was my all-time favorite, but now Air of Fire is kind of like taking up that position. But Queen of Shadows is up there for me, which I know is weird because I feel like a lot of people didn't like Queen of Shadows, but I'm so excited for it and it's my birthday month and it's gonna be fantastic. I've never really done a full reread of it. I've just reread parts of it. Uh, this is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series, and it's it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. It's a big boy. Like, do you see how large this one is? Well, this is before they, uh, so Empire of Storms is actually bigger than Queen of Shadows, but it looks like half the size of it, and it's because they really condense the pages, so. And then the next book that I've set aside to read for the month of August is for another readathon that is going on or another read-along that is going on right now in the month of August, and it is being hosted by Common Spence and a whole bunch of other great booktubers, and it's the A Darker Shade of Read-alongs, and I'm so excited. I've never read A Darker Shade of Magic, and I just, like, I love this excuse to finally be able to pick it up. They have decided to read A Darker Shade of Magic, the first book in the trilogy on the month of in the month of August, and it's just gonna be so fantastic. There's gonna be like a live show. I don't know all the details, but I will link Common Spence's like videos about it down below or something like that to let you guys know just in case you wanna participate as well. So I'm, I'm so excited. This is uh, the first book in an adult fantasy trilogy by Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab, because that's what she goes by for her adult books. And I've only read, uh, uh, this Savage Song by her, but I loved it so much, so I'm really, really excited to jump into this. Next up, I have a couple of sequels that I actually want to get to this month, which is exciting, because I feel like I haven't been getting to sequels at all lately, and that's Down Among the Sticks and Bones, also by Shauna McGuire. This is the second uh, book in the Wayward, Wayward Children's series. I'm very excited about it. I loved, I loved Down Among the Sticks and er, I loved Every Heart of Doorway so much, and I can't wait to read Down Among the Sticks and Bones. Uh, I do believe that this follows the twins that are in Every Heart of Doorway, Jack and Jill, but I don't know if it's a prequel or, like, the next step. Oh, this is a prequel, so, oh, that's gonna be exciting. All right, 
I'm extra excited for it because they were such interesting characters. And the other sequel that I really want to get to this month is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I think I'm actually going to physically read it. I have been like going back and forth, forth about this in my reading vlogs where I got the audiobook for this like through my library but I'm not positive if I want to listen to it. I really kind of wanted to read it so I guess we'll see what I end up doing but I kind of like that it's a very floppy paperback so I might end up reading it just for that. I do want to get a hardcover though because all my other ones are hardcover and I don't like having mismatched books. So yeah, this is the second book in the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. It's basically a sci-fi world where uh, every person is color-coded. I, I don't know how else to explain it, but the class system is by colors. So reds are at the very, very bottom and golds are at the very, very top. And we follow Daryl as he is a red and he wants to infiltrate the golds and basically start a rebellion of sorts. So it's it was fantastic. The first book was amazing it's just it's so dark it's so like interesting i just i loved it so i'm i i'm surprised it took me this long to decide to pick up the second book and then uh the last sequel that i plan on picking up this month is fairy tale volume 2 by hiro mishima this is the second manga in the fairy tale giant series there's like 50 of these and i'm really excited about it i read fairy tale i think last month or maybe even the month before and I just haven't gotten to the second one but I feel like it's finally time I, I really want to read it and I'm very excited about it I've read his other manga Rave Master and I loved 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 it so I'm hoping to love this series just as much which I feel like I will because the first one was really fantastic so and then the last book that's on my TBR for this month is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. If any of you guys watched my booktubeathon TBR, you probably saw how disappointed I was that I that I got Ugly Love instead of A Study in Charlotte in my coin flip. And yeah, that really motivated me to want to pick it up. I always have a really hard time explaining this for whatever reason, but it is following the descendants of Sherlock in Watson and the descendants are Charlotte and Watson, and they both end up going to the same boarding school, and I don't think they really wanted to be friends because, like, their ancestors were friends or whatever, but they get framed for murder, and Charlotte has to go all Sherlock Holmes on it and figure out who the real murderer is, and obviously she needs Watson's help, of course, and I feel like uh, I've heard that there's some kind of love story in it, uh, like a slow burn maybe so I'm excited I'm here for it so yeah plus I've heard so many people like raving about it so I just I have to get to it all right I think that's it for my TBR for the month of August I'm very very excited I hope to get to all of them but as you guys know I'm a mood reader so there's a chance that I get to all of them and there's a chance I get to none of them we don't know and yeah that's gonna be it for this video today guys and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books are on your TBR for the month, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Ah! Oh, that freaked Luna out. That's so funny. I hope I got a picture. I don't feel like uh, stacking them back up, so...